Hey everyone. So in today's video, I want to talk about some other sites that maybe you can check out to buy some older Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy Color games, or even the consoles themselves. Or if you want to expand past that, look for Super Nintendos and Nintendo 64s. And a good site that I've come across is shopgoodwill.com and this is goodwill like you like you've imagined already like i'm sure you already know goodwill in america is like a thrift store where a lot of people donate their items to for charity etc so that's that's what goodwill is i was surprised to see that they had an online store but so far i've purchased through them already but before i start please leave a like and subscribe it's the best way to help me out let me know what works, what doesn't work. So thank you very much for everyone who's liked, liked and subscribed so far. All right, everyone, let's get into the video. So here we have, this is a Shop Goodwill website. It's fairly simple. It's literally shopgoodwill.com. And like I've mentioned, I've used their website a couple times already. I've bought a couple of items. I'm waiting for some and I've already received some. Now, you could definitely find some good deals here if if you look hard enough. Now, I'm talking about good deals for yourself. You might you might be able to also find a good deal for if you want to resell it as well. Since eBay has definitely become a little more pricier and it's kind of hard to sometimes sort out what is fake and what's not fake on eBay considering all that's already been flooded into the eBay marketplace. Now, the interesting thing about Goodwill, and obviously you take everything you buy online with a grain of salt, buy it at your own risk. Obviously, you never know if it's going to be fake or not. But typically, when you when you get stuff from Goodwill, you're I mean, when you, this is going to be donated items, so people don't usually donate a counterfeit game in my in my experience or that kind of stuff. It's usually something authentic. Now, so far I've gotten one already and I verified it was it was authentic. It was a Pokemon Red game for about 30 bucks and it was pretty good. Now the thing you might got to keep it keep in mind is going to be shipping. That does cost a little bit more. So this is where if you're just buying for yourself, you could probably find a good deal that's a little bit cheaper than eBay. So let's just let's just show what we have for Game Boy stuff. Now, right away, this is very similar to what you would expect from, from, for example, something like eBay. Now, some of the prices are going to be higher than others. This, this is where you might find a good deal. Maybe you can. Like, for example, see the Kirby game. It's not a bad price. But then you got to take into fact shipping. Something like this, you could buy a whole bundle. And I've seen them sell stuff in lots. So you can literally buy like 25 games, maybe for like 50, 60, sometimes $80. But obviously, nowadays, everybody seems to be liking retro stuff, like retro Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Colors. So these prices have definitely fluctuated. But relatively, this is, this is still not bad prices. Now, you can tell something like this looks like it's original, in my opinion dirty it's a little old <laughs> so those kind of stuff do give it away now a lot of them they're not gonna it's not gonna be guaranteed to work so this is where you kind of buy at your own risk just like with ebay essentially but let's just see if this one wants to load so as you can tell this one's a little dirty but it's just a sticker that's mostly dirty looks like it now you can tell it's definitely used so this is obviously they're not saying this is not not inventory or authentic, so they can't. They're not gonna verify it is or isn't. So you got you always got to keep that in mind. So right now, the buy it price is at sixteen fifty, but you can also just bid on it and see what happens. Now let's see if I can find some other more examples. I've definitely seen some better examples in the past few days, but you know, these prices go up and down. It's kind of cool. Look, you got the original Game Boy Color. That one looks like it works. As you can tell, they have it on. This is not a bad lot right here. So let's say you, it still has a day left. I can definitely see this increasing. But just Pokemon Yellow by itself, you just do an eBay search of 
Pokemon Yellow. Let's see what we have. So, Pokemon Yellow right here. New batteries, 50 bucks. That seems pretty, pretty much about right. Or at least definitely $30 I've seen you can get it. So it's definitely around $50. So that right there, it's, it's a pretty good price. So right there, if you wanted to just sell this, maybe two other games, you can keep the rest. Or if you sell the rest, you can probably make your money back. Stuff like that. It's also a good way just to collect these faster as well, these lots. Now, obviously, Goodwill is not the only place you can do these shoppings. You can look, check for deals. There are a lot of places you can check. Now, here's one of the lots I was talking about. This one here, currently priced at $42, but it's a bid, so it will change. So it looks like you have 25 games. That's definitely a lot of games. This is good for people who want to start a collection or just want to resell it. Because let's see, if you, let's just say, just curious. Uh, let's go Bug Life. How much does a bug life cost? So this right now is going for 40 bucks. Let's say you buy it at 50 bucks. Bugs Life. Yeah, Game Boy. Let's see. Looks like Bugs Life, if it comes out to be authentic, could be anywhere between $7 to $12. So right there, $7. If you could sell all of them for $7, you're making you're making your money back. Easy. What is that? That's almost $200 if you can sell them all. That's right. Am I doing my math right? No, I don't think I'm doing my math right. But either way, it's definitely, you definitely make your money back on that one. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing my math right there. Let's see. Yeah, it's 175. Oh, I was close. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, so lots like this are definitely something good. So, you know, I, I might keep that one in mind myself. But let's see what else we have. Now, this you're just not limited to this either. Let's continue going. Not gonna, and obviously, you as you continue to go, the prices might only look lower because the bid time is extending. This is pretty cool. Looks like this is this is the uh, actual Game Boy Advance video player here it's for Sonic. Like I said, you can buy the actual games themselves. So this one's selling. Looks like Pokemon Crystal along with the green Game Boy Advance. Now, this is a cool one too. This is the Empire Strike Backs. I've seen this. For this price, you, you could buy a brand new from, what is that, Limited Run? I don't know if they have it there anymore. But it's even better to have the original. So that, that is pretty cool. I can see why this is getting already, it's got one bid so far. But that, that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we have. Like this one here, you can buy it with the case. That's awesome. Look, here's another one with a case. And Goodwill doesn't just have you limited to there. Let's just see uh, Super Nintendo. Let's see if they have that. Now, this is obviously searching through the entire country. So you might be buying something from the Midwest. You could buy some same thing like with the Game Boy. You could buy some of these games here too. You can buy the Super Mario 64 or the original Super Mario 2. Here's a whole system. That's not a bad price either for 30 bucks. What does this say? Let's see. It's good. It's used. It's not tested. That is pretty cool though. You can definitely tell it's used though. That's pretty cool though. And it comes with a controller. There's so two games and a controller. So if you were looking for the original one and didn't want to want to stop using their, uh, you know, those clones, here's a good alternative. All right. So let's show you some other some other websites. Now here's another website you can definitely find stuff as well. Okay, this is Game Boy. Mer Merci, I think it's called. Now I've noticed here things can be a little bit more pricey. So sometimes you can find a good a good deal here, sometimes you can't. I've had some mix 
mixed dealings with people here. This one, let's see, like $95 for crystal. And that's not really a steal. You can probably find that cheaper. $60 for silver. That's not that's not a steal either. Not a great price. $67 for Pokemon. Uh, yeah, like I mentioned, you, you're not going to find the best things. This is an okay site. If you're definitely looking for alternatives, this is not a bad site. Let's try offer up. Offer up is even just as much sketchy. So let's try let's do Game Boy. Game Boy games again. Game Boy games. Now the thing about offer up, if you ever used it before, sometimes they just leave their stuff there and it's not even active anymore. You might have something that's just stayed there for a good year or two. It also doesn't have as much stuff as the other websites, like I mentioned. Like he's selling 150 Game Boy Advance games for, uh, and it just redirects you over to eBay. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, it was an eBay ad. Okay. So look at that. Some of these are even mixing with ads. That's kind of annoying. Now, all right. So I showed you three different ones, and I'll leave the links below. That way you guys can check it out if you want. It's pretty cool. I definitely give uh, Goodwill a shot. You might you might be able to find something here that you like. Just keep in mind the shipping. That's probably where they get you. See this one. So right here you'll have eight eight dollars and then two dollars for the handling price. You're looking at ten dollars. But on the plus side, they ship FedEx, so it gets you pretty quick once it's shipped. So in that retrospect, it is pretty good. Let's see if I can find another one. I've seen some really mixed prices when it comes to shipping. That's when you got to estimate it. Let's see if I put, let's just put 10001. Let's go to Manhattan. Looks like it's going to be $9.68. So you're definitely not going to find any free shipping on Goodwill. But if you can find a good enough deal, it might be worth it. So just... Keep goodwill in your mind when you're looking at retro, retro hunting. All right, everyone. So uh, happy hunting.